And the tail of the tape. In the black and gray wrap, we have the graphene battery, Turnigy, 1.0 amp hours. And the black and blue wrap, 1.3 amp hours, Z battery. These are both 4C, so 16.8 volts max charge. We're going to hit them with 60 amp and see who drops first. Jumping right in, we've got ambient temperature, 24 degrees Celsius. We've also got a thermal couple on the battery itself, reading at 26 degrees Celsius. We've got our balance cells, each at about 4.2 volts. One's 4.19. We're going to hit each of these batteries with 60 amps, and we're going to go for 60 seconds or as long as they can hold out before the voltage drops below 3 volts per cell or 12 volts on the pack. And here's round one. We're at 60 amps, actually slightly larger. The set current is 60, but it's actually reading 60.31. Voltage started off at 16.8. Once we loaded it, it quickly dropped, and it'll continue dropping quickly uh, for the first few seconds. It'll kind of stabilize out at a mid voltage or around 3.4 volts per cell. And then it'll go for about a minute, and then at the very end, it's going to start dropping really quick. So as batteries drain, the initial voltage is a real quick loss, and then they stabilize, and at the very end, the voltage just tails off. So we'll continue watching this, and we'll see what happens as we get towards the end. Turn the light on here for the temperature so you can see temperature going up 40, 50 degrees Celsius. Our power is 800 watts right now so it's putting out a ton of juice. Voltage is starting to drop a little faster. We're getting real close. It's accelerating as it drops and that's it. Now we'll speed up the video and we'll kind of watch what happens as we leave it off. You can see temperature keeps rising so goes up and then it starts coming down and we'll talk about that a little later when we look at the actual plot and graph of what's going on here all right here's our next test this is with the Z battery again drops right down to 14 real quick it keeps dropping we're down to about three and a half volts per cell temperature is still cool so it's, it's generating a lot of heat but it hasn't conducted out to the uh, surface area of the battery yet. You can see it's still running kind of cool. Just hit 40 degrees Celsius. We're drawing about 830 watts. Same exact same current, 60.31 amps. Voltage holding right around the mid level. 13.5 on the pack and 3.4 on the individual cells. Temperature starting to really climb now. We're about to the end of the test. 13. It's going to tank off real quick. Here it goes. 12, 7, 12, 6, 12, 5, 4, 3, 2, that's it. Speed it up. You see temperature keeps climbing up, up 84, 85. Then it starts coming back down. This part is sped up about 2,000%. And next we'll get into the results. Now the interesting part, plot of the data. The right is power in watts and the left side is voltage. So the top two curves are both voltage curves for the Turnigy and Z battery. And actually the Z battery is outperforming the Turnigy, not only sustaining higher voltage, but for a longer time. Now it did have a higher amp hour capacity of 1.3 compared to 1, but even with that, it's half the price. So for the price of one Turnigy, you can get a two pack of Z batteries on Amazon. So it's outperforming in all categories. And the lower two plots are the power. You can see at the 20 second mark, the Z battery is putting out 830 watts and the Turnigy is 819. That's quite a bit of power. I think a professional cyclist putting out 800 watts for one minute would be a, a pretty extreme situation. Only a few people can do that. So these batteries are essentially putting out uh, Olympic capacity power. It's over one horsepower for one minute in a very small package. Now we get to look at the thermals, the temperature rise over the current test. 
Uh, both scales are actually the same, but we have temperature in Celsius on the left and current in amps on the right. You can see the blue and gray curves, that's current, so they're at 60 amps. The uh, Z battery outlasted, it went 75 seconds, whereas the Turnigy only went 60 seconds, but that matches up with the amp hour difference of 1 and 1 1.3. So you can see the temperature at that point when the Turnigy, the gray, drops down to zero. Both curves are overlaying quite well, so they're both generating about the same amount of heat and warming up at the same rate. Now because the Z battery continues a little bit longer, its thermal um, trajectory continues to overshoot and go higher and higher, so that top curve is the Z battery, and it reaches almost 90 degrees C, which is quite hot, and I'm sure the internals of the battery got hotter than 90. So as it's being loaded up, the inside is getting very hot, but it takes a while for that heat to conduct out to the surface area of the battery pack. So you can see a lot of heat's being generated in a very short time. Um, so both seem to perform well, or about the same, up to the point where they've gone 60 seconds, although the Z battery does ultimately get hotter, but that's most likely due to its extra capacity and the fact that it's actually the same size. So pretty interesting plot of just what the temperature is doing during this, this high load scenario.